Hi, second graders. We're going to continue talking about quotation marks. And I want to review um, how we include all of the pieces of writing a statement with dialogue or a sentence with dialogue, um, including all of those parts that we've learned about um, to add commas and quotation marks and where to put punctuation and where to capitalize. So um, let's go ahead and look at some examples. So this is Mike. And Mike said, I like to eat candy. So if I was going to write this in my story, I would write the sentence, Mike said, I like to eat candy. And we want to go through and make sure that we have all the parts to make a complete sentence with dialogue in it. The first thing we have to do is tell who is talking and how they said it. So in this case, it just says Mike said, but we could have said Mike yelled, Mike whispered, Mike shouted, but however, they are saying the the phrase we need to include that and then as well as who is saying that after that we need to make sure that there is a comma the comma comes before the quotation marks um, and it just kind of separates the quote or what the character says from who is saying it then we put our quotation marks around the actual words that the character is saying notice that we don't have the quotation marks around the words mike said we only put the quotation marks around the words that actually came out of Mike's mouth, which are, I like to eat candy. The first letter of what the character says, um, so the words inside the quotation marks needs to be capital. I already is capital because I by itself is always capital, but if it was another word, uh, it would have to have a capital letter as well. And then finally, we make sure that we put punctuation before or inside of the quotation marks. So the whole sentence here, I like to eat candy with the punctuation, the period is inside the quotation marks because that is the entire quote or the entire thing that Mike said. <clears throat> Let's try another one. This is Jane. Jane said, I can run. Again, if I was going to write that in my writing and I wanted to include that dialogue, I have to make sure that when I write that sentence, I have all of the parts to make a complete sentence. Let's look at those parts again. So first I have to say who is talking, Jane, and how is she saying it? Again, we just said Jane said. We could have said Jane giggled, Jane whispered, Jane yelled, however she said it. We include that comma to separate who is, we're, the part where we're telling who is saying it from what they said. So we include that comma before we put our quotation marks. Add those quotation marks around all of the words that came out of the character's mouth. So I can run are all of the words the character said. So we need to make sure those quotation marks are on the outside of that. Remember that we start that, the words, the sentence part that is inside the quotation marks, we start that with a capital letter. And then we include that punctuation inside the quotation marks. See if you can remember some of those parts before I tell you this time. This is Frank. Frank said, we like cake. So here's my sentence that I would put in my writing, including dialogue. What's the first thing I have to remember to add? Did you say that we needed to add who is talking and how they said it? Frank said, what would come next? I hope you remembered that that comma has to come next. We have to separate the part that's telling who is talking from the part that says what they are saying. Okay, what comes next? You're right, it's the quotation marks around the parts that the character said or the words that the character said. In this case, Frank said the words, we like cake. So our quotation marks go around those words. Did you remember to capitalize the, the letter? that starts our quote, so right inside the quotation marks. It's the last thing that we have to remember. 
If you said punctuation, you are correct. We have to include that punctuation inside the quotation marks. Let's try another. This is James. James said, let's go skating. Here's my sentence with dialogue. James said, let's go skating. I've included who is talking and how they are saying it. I included that comma to separate the part that says who is talking from the part that says what they are saying. The quotation marks go around the words that James said. Here's one that doesn't start with an I. Our last one didn't either. So that L has to be capital. It's part of a new sentence inside of our larger sentence. So it has to be capital. And finally, we have that punctuation. Here's our last one. This is Pete. Pete is actually asking a question. He asked, do you like frogs? I know some of you probably do. Here's my sentence with dialogue. Pete asked, do you like frogs? So again, this time we are saying who is talking Pete, but you notice that we didn't say said this time. We were more specific and said that he was asking a question. So Pete asked, this is where you can change up how they are talking. We still have that comma though, uh, to separate those two parts of the sentence. Our quotation marks around the, the question that Pete asked. We started that sentence inside the quotation marks with a capital D. And this time our punctuation is not a period because Pete is asking a question. It has to be a question mark. When you are writing dialogue, don't forget all those parts.